today I wanted to show you how I got this hair with the most amazing invention ever. This. This is the Pro Blow Ceramic Brush Barrels with Unique Detachable Handle. So basically what it is, it's a brush that has a detachable handle and it looks just like this. And the one that I have is the Curl Me set, which comes with three different sizes. So basically, you go about blow drying your hair as you normally would. Just the only thing is that instead of just twisting the hair off once we're done, we're actually going to roll the hair up and clip it up. So yeah, let me just show you guys how I do it. And honestly, you don't even need to be good at blow drying your hair to use these. It makes it so much easier to get that like perfect salon blown out look. I love it. A couple of tips when you blow dry your hair. You want to wait till your hair is almost 70% dry. Um, that way it's less work for you and less damage to the hair. And then uh, you want to use a heat protectant. So I always put Moroccan oil in my hair that helps with split ends and stuff like that. So if your hair isn't 70% dry and you don't have time for it to dry naturally, what I would recommend doing is flipping your head upside down and then that's gonna help create some lift at the root. So you just wanna go ahead and go like this. Okay. So the way that I like to blow dry my hair is that I like to separate the top from the bottom first. So I work with the bottom half first. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. So as I told you guys before, there are three different barrel sizes, but when I blow dry my hair, I really don't care what size I'm grabbing for the bottom. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead with the one that's already on there now. So before I blow dry, I just like to brush it out first to make it smooth. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap it around the barrel like this, and then just blow. Well. <laughs> Okay, so I want to give you guys some quick little tips first. So with the blow dryer, you want to make sure that you're aiming the air in the same direction that your hair grows. You do not want to go up against the root because that's going to create frizz and that's very bad and that's not what we want. So now when you take the hair onto the brush, you want to wrap it around it and create some tension by pulling it tightly as you pull the brush through. This helps to really smooth out the section of hair. So basically what I'm saying is that you're not going to hold your hair flimsy and you're going to extend it out completely. So now before you can roll up that section of hair, you want to make sure that your hair is completely dry first, like completely dry. Otherwise your natural hair texture is going to come through and the hair you're trying to smooth out is just going to go back to your normal hair. Um, that's why I say it's easier to do this hairstyle once your hair is already 70% dry, so you waste less time. And now, once you've smoothed out the hair completely, I like to wrap the ends of my hair around the barrel, and as I'm doing this, I'm constantly twisting the brush. That way it'll form to the shape of it. Um, and once I roll it up, I try to do this neatly and give it one more blast of warm air. So that way, as it's cooling, it's going to form to the shape of the barrel and create that beautiful curl that we want. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and take another section of my hair down. So what you should aim to do when you are sectioning your hair is to have like this section here is that you wanna blow dry this section going up like this. But if you don't, this stuff still gives you like a good amount of volume. But for me, I just find it easier to take like the lower half of my hair here and then just go on with this next. Honestly, using these is very simple. You basically just want to make sure that your hair is smooth before you roll it up and make sure to roll it up neatly. And you want to make sure that the very ends of your hair are smoothly wrapped around the brush and then you can just roll it up and you're done. Um, honestly, I am in love with these things. It just makes it so easy to roll up the hair since you still have a brush handle attached to the roller. And it takes me the same amount of time as if I were to blow dry my hair normally with a normal brush, but the results are just way more amazing with this since I can just roll it up and move on to the next, next section of hair. Now that I put all of my hair up in rollers, I'm just going to leave it set until I feel that all of them pull down. 
Um, and then I'll come back and show you guys how I take them down. So now it's been 10 minutes or so since I let all of these cool down. And I'm just going to show you guys how I take them out. So this is the first one I put in. And I just like to roll it down. And then once I get halfway down, I like to twist them off the hair. And that way gives you a nice bouncy curl like this. Okay, I'm go ahead and show you guys again. So you're just going to roll it. Once you get halfway, I'm just going to twist it off. Twist it with your fingers if you need to. And then you get a nice bouncy curl. See, and it's super simple. Voila! There's my hair all blown out, looking all voluminous. If your hair has a good hold, you don't have to do this. Um, but if you want it to last a little bit longer, you can just put a little bit of hairspray, keep them in. And that's it. That's your whole look completed. Honestly, it takes me the same amount of time if I were to blow dry my hair usually. And the results are just like way, way more amazing.